glaciers are not formed from frozen water. They are made from snow. Every snowflake is formed from dozens of delicate ice crystals. No one has ever found two that are the same. Individual snowflakes may be fragile, but put enough together and they can create one of the most awe-inspiring sights in nature. Every year, around a million avalanches thunder down the Earth's mountains. But however devastating avalanches may appear to us, when it comes to reshaping the Earth, they barely even scratch the surface. It's only when snow turns into ice that it becomes so powerful it can change our world. On this ice cliff, you can actually see the transformation of snow into ice as it happens. Each year's snowfall creates distinct layers, many meters deep. Now above me is the fresh snow from this winter. And down here, this brown line is the melt from the summer before. So as you go down through these layers, the snow gets older and older. It's kind of like the rings of a tree with each layer being a new layer of snowfall. And it's the weight of all those snowfalls building up that starts to compress the individual snowflakes together. The further down the layers you go, the harder the snow becomes until you reach here. This is a really distinctive set of snow. It's called Nevi, and it formed several years ago. It's really hard. I mean, I have to dig at it with my ice axe. It's amazing stuff. It's kind of like a bubbly fiberglass. It's beautiful. And what it's telling us is that we're getting close to true ice. The more the snow is compressed, the more air is forced out of it. Removing air is what turns fluffy snow into rock-hard ice. This is it. I've come down about 20 metres to the base of the cliff, and this is pure glacial ice. All the snowflake crystals in there have been squeezed down. It gives us this weird texture. I mean. It's just frozen water, but it's like solid rock. Look at that. And it's got this glassy feel to it. It's almost transparent. It might take 20 years or so, but now the air has gone, this ice is tough enough to take on the hardest rock. <laughs> 